Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. As you can see, we're working on this. You can't even tell what it is. It's a Fiat 500. Uh, this is an ongoing project. And we've done quite a bit to this car already. Before I go delving into what's coming next, uh, I'll explain a little bit more about what I've done. If you haven't seen this video or seen this car before, or seen any of my channel before, on this channel, uh, I tend to work on salvage or crash damaged cars, buy them at auction, repair them and sell them hopefully for a bit of profit. This is a crash damaged car, it's a category N Fiat 500, a 2010 model and it had rear arch damage. It's all been repaired but it did have other problems. It suffers with the Fiat 500 or Fiat Rust. And most do but this one has a little bit more as it's from scotland uh so it's obviously a lot uh, the roads are a lot softer up there the the weather conditions are a lot worse than the rest of the uk sadly for them so it does uh drastically age the car a lot quicker than a normal car uh, because of the weather conditions so i've been working it working now and we've done quite a lot on this car the last episode i replaced the clutch so i had all the gearbox out and we've done the clutch, greased everything, it's all back in, perfect. As far as I'm aware, we haven't tested it yet, because there's a lot more to do on this car. There is the old clutch there. So, that's been done. I also, I'll show you now, what I was on about with the rust. The rust is, is quite rusty, this car. And I've repaired that leg there while the gearbox was out. Cleaned it up, protected it, and then just sprayed it. So that's done. So this video is going to be on the removal of the engine sump now i've looked at a few videos and there isn't a lot out out there on removing the sump on these cars now what i can make out uh if you are going to do this there's two ways that i can make out that you can do this removing the sump before i go into it though if you're only now viewing the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it or you like content like this just remember this car is going to take a lot of uh, effort to get back on the road we get there slowly i'll tell you how this channel doesn't cut corners if, if it's a problem with a car we sort it and get it back out so anyway as i was saying there's two methods that i can make out of removing the engine sump now, both methods are not easy, so if you're going to do this, there are then both of them, I would say you're going to need to take off the bumper, possibly the bumper. Right, I'll explain a little bit more. As you can see, my sump is leaking as well, leaking around the seal, and it's also leaking uh, around the bottom. It's quite bad in places. Now, the problem you have with these sumps is the exhaust gets in the way and this and the leg gets in the way now if you've got the front of the car on as well you can imagine it's quite tight for space anyway so it's not the best uh, or ideal situation to be in the way i'm gonna do it but like i said it's not it's no correct way of doing it it's just gonna be the i think would be the easiest way of doing it is You'd have to remove the front bumper. You can leave the slam, slam panel, which is that, on the car. Because you, what you want to do is you want to remove this leg out the way. So that gives you enough access for the sump to come down and out that way. Uh, you might have to remove the service uh, panel for the timing belt. But I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to get into the car now. Okay. As you can see, when you drop down the sump, let's see. You've got the exhaust which is in the way, like I've said, but you haven't got a lot of room. You think dropping this down would just come out, but there's an oil pickup in there that's quite low down in, in the sump, and you've got to try and get that out, out, out of the way of that as well. Uh, so it's not an easy task 
and you've also got quite a few bolts to undo and on this side where the bell housing meets the engine there is I've already taken them out this is why I left them out in the last episode I'll show you now you also have these now this is a cover for the bell housing and you also have this which is attached to the sump so you've got to remove all these first so you've got access to the bolts that's up on the one side if you are going to do this you need to remove these as well first which I've already done so if you want to see how I've done that go back to the gearbox episode and you'll see me remove these or some of them before I start undoing the sump I'm going to remove this leg Remove this inspection panel. The sump has already been drained of oil. I've taken the oil out of it, so you'd have to do that as well. I can take the oil filter off. I'm not going to do it just yet, but that is something we need to do as well. But the other method, which I found was just as awkward, if you fancy doing it this way instead, is you drop the manifold and lower the exhaust down out of the way. Now, that's not an issue. You have to undo this bolt here, that one, there's four more, these ones have already been taken out, but you'd have four. That would give you access to the, the bolts to the back for the manifold. And I have seen that these do snap off and I wouldn't want them stuck in the head. Because it would be a nightmare to get out. So that's going to be the issue you're going to have, they're going to snap in there and you're not going to be able to get it back on properly. I just think, especially with this, this, this car in particular, every bolt is rusted. So it would be even worse working on this one. Uh, depending on the age of the car, this is like I said, 2010, the, the bolts might not be as rusty. It might be easier to drop the manifold. Entirely up to you how you do it. I'm just explaining the method behind the way I'm doing it and the what I've seen, and I think this is the easiest way. Like I said, you can remove the front bumper, which is easy anyway. Not a lot of bolts to them. You can leave the slam panel, but you'll need to undo that You'd have to undo them to do the lower arms anyway. So it's no different to any maintenance job. The only difference is we take tackling the sump. So I hope, I hope I've explained that to you well enough so you can understand. We'll crack on with that leg, try and get that leg out, which is going to be a nightmare because it's really rusty. If you look at it, even the captive bolts that was old, uh, that stick in the back. Let me show you this one. You have, see the bolts there? Um, see them? See your captive bolts that sit in there to hold the bolts go through on this one. They they are snapped off. That's how rusty this one is. This has been replaced with the second hand one, which is in a lot better condition. Uh, so we got to get this out first. Uh, like I, like I said, the wheels are already off. Everything is already off on this car for me, so it's going to be easier just to crack on with. But you need to get all this undone first. You've got to undo this. I'm doing the timing belt on this car as well, which will be in another episode, which would I'd have to undo all this anyway. So what I'm doing is doing things as and when they need to in the in, in line, because I've done the gearbox now. The new one is in this box here. There, brand new sump. So hopefully it should solve the issues of the leak for a time being. So like I said, we need to undo all this, undo that and get that out of the way and hopefully that should give us some good access and good clearance to the sun. I know we grew up a little too fast, I miss the days that we turn them and laugh. Where did the time go? It all passed, now I need to go back. I had no worries but always had plans, the only thing I do was dig out the trash. Now it's much harder to laugh, hard to get up and not work on my craft. I need inspiration, don't need no validation No more medication, just try some meditating I don't need you to save me, feel like all of you hate me Everything's been so hard with all the situations lately I just need to numb the pain for a minute I just wanna run away for vacation I don't know what to As you can see, quite bad that one. Like I said, that one's getting replaced. As you can already see, uh, I can get to the sump now. And hopefully pull it out this way. This is why I'm doing it this way. So we need to take this inspection panel out now. 
that will give us a little bit more room to this and more room to the sump. Like everything else on this car, everything is rusty, so this might not come out. Might have to take the whole arch line out just to get this out. Oh, I tell you what. Okay, as you can see now, this uh, guard and that uh, inspection guard was an absolute nightmare to get off. As usual, the screws are just uh, rounded off. I won't come undone. Uh, but as you can see, you can see the sump there now as well. Uh, where I'm lucky is the drive shafts are not in the way either. You might um, you might get away with them in the way, uh, but I've obviously got a little bit more room. You don't have to take them out. Uh, looking at that belt there, and we can see that luxury belt looks a bit uh, like it needs to replace in. So I think that's another thing we need to add to the list. See that? As you can see, that's starting to crack. So uh, this will need replacing. We're not here for that today, though. We are here for the sump. Now we've got everything out the way. Should be a case now of just undoing everything. See, you've got the end, uh, the gearbox mount, the rear mount. There, uh, goes along and goes into this. But there's a plate here. That is the plate I've already taken off. You will need to take that off to get to them. Um, as can you see up there? Up there, I think they I think they're 13 and you got 10 mil each side studs. You need to take that plate out the way. As you can see there, you can see the clutch plate now to get to them. Okay, so that's why you need to do that. And you've got to see the same this side. And this should come undone then. So what I'll do is I'll undo them all except for one of the front normally. Undo that one last. I'm using open. eye protection on this car. You should use it anyway when I'm underneath. But because it's so much debris falling from underneath the car, the rust and that, you don't want it falling in your eyes. So that's why I've got protection on. Okay, all the bolts are out except for one, which is at the front. And this one. I'm just gonna go around the check to make sure again, one more time. Yep, they're all out, except for this one. Okay. Let me tell you now, I think uh, I've changed the, the, the way I was stating to do this. The problem you're going to have is putting this sump back on with the, with the glue in place, the sealant in place. It's just not going to make a perfect seal. 
So I think the best and the easiest way to take these sumps off, guys, is to take the manifold off. Now I didn't want to do that. Uh, you're opening a can of worms. I just hope I don't break nothing. But I can't see a way of this coming out. You might be able to get it out, but getting it in perfect to go up and in place, this is why they probably leak. It's because they're not making a perfect seal when they go back in. You've got to try and get that back into position without getting any of the sealant, which is practically impossible. So I'll put a little bolt in that now, and we'll take off. We'll take off the front uh, and see if we can lower down this manifold. I'm hoping none of these bolts snap off because if they do, then I don't know what we're going to do because I ain't got the tools to do that. Let's see how we get on. Here we go, these bolts now have a tendency to snap. I just hope they don't snap, I really do. Look at that guys, uh, one has already snapped in there and that's not from me so someone has been in here and obviously had this manifold off for whatever reason, probably to do with the sun because it has been done previously but not uh, very good by the looks of it. So someone has snapped one in there, I think you can get away with one, any more than one and then we're in trouble. Well, like I said I haven't got the tools to get that out. Looking at this exhaust manifold, it doesn't look like it's leaking, uh, but it does look like it's uh, seen better days. So I think we're going to replace that anyway. Uh, it should, in theory, should replace. If you're taking this off, you should uh, replace it anyway. It is a gasket. Thank you. Did I undone that? Someone's been in there previously, and I think have helped. But obviously, we got one missing out of there. I didn't do that. Uh, it's going to stay like that. If you hear that bang, there we go guys, sump is out. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. There's the sump, it's out. And I think the only way to get that out, so you can put it back in correctly, and make an excellent seal on the uh, bottom, and on the, um, is by lowering the manifold. That is the only way to do it properly, guys. I, you just see me try and do it one way. It didn't work. I think it's practically impossible without damaging something underneath or the oil feed. So I'm going to go home now, have a cup of tea, and I'll be back uh, in five minutes. Okay, right, I've been home, had a little break. Uh, where we left off, the sump was still on the floor, and I've just removed the, the exhaust manifold. Now, I've been out. I've bought a new manifold gasket because that is shot and I'm not happy reusing it. It's well well worn away. So we'll replace that. I've also got an auxiliary belt because that one was 
rotten. I've also got, I've, I ordered these the other day. WD-40 5 litres, new spray bottle and a new spray bottle pump because this is not the best for brake, brake cleaner. So I'll be using that. If you have the right stuff, it makes the jobs a little bit easier, I think anyway. So I can get chuck this aside now, because I don't need this. I have got uh, a new one, it's in this box, but we've got a pile of parts here now. And we really need to start putting this car back together. Now, like I said earlier on, there was two ways of doing this. I 100% say the only way to do this correctly is by taking this manifold off, dropping the exhaust down, and then that sump will drop out straight down rather than across. And that will then, when you put it back up, you're going to make a better seal and stop it from leaking in the future. I think that's the only way, guys. So I hope that helps you when you, if you are deciding to do something. I guess it is a big job. I thought that dropping the sump will be quite simple. It's it's quite a big in-depth job, guys. So. Just letting you know that. I also have had the new leg, the front leg. It's in the box there as well, so that's come. But we're not here for that today yet. We're gonna put this sump back on. So I think the best way to tackle this now is if I get the sump out, put the gasket uh, sealant around it. And I think I put the jack under it, higher it up so it doesn't come off then. And then I can put the bolts in while the jack's underneath it. And then what I'll do then is just leave that set. I should imagine it'll probably need about 24 hours to set. I haven't really read the label yet. And while that's set in, I'll, we can fill it up with oil. But I won't run the engine until it's sealed 100% and dried. I've got some gearbox oil to put in there as well. But we can... There's other things we can do before running this engine anyway. So let's crack on and get that sump uh, back in. Okay, before I do anything on this, I have got uh, high temperature uh, gasket sealant. It may be red, but it's the same stuff. It'll do the trick. Uh, before I do that, that surface is obviously clean because it's new. I'm just going to go around the bottom but there of the engine now and give that a little bit of a clean up. Make sure all the old gasket is off and just give it a good clean to make sure I've got a good uh, surface for it to bond to. Otherwise, it's just going to leak straight out. So I just crack on on that, and then I'll slap on some gasket sealant on there uh, to take off the old gasket. I'll be using this. It's a plastic scraper. It's not going to be uh, damaging to the underneath of the car. Uh, obviously, you don't want to be using metal or metal, which is no good. So I'm just going to crack on and get some of this off. It's uh, not going to be very pleasant. It's a job that needs to be done, so we can make a decent seal. I just thought I'll show you this quick. I've gone around and get underneath. All clean. All clean underneath. The best I'm gonna get it. So obviously you're not gonna get every little bit off, but most of it is off. I've used brake cleaner then to clean around the outside edges, so it's got a good clean surface to adhere to. So now that is ready for this. So I'll just give this a little spray down just to get any crap it might be in there from the factory and any dust. Give it a wipe down and it should be good to go. So I've never used this stuff so I don't know how good it is. Um, I think you'll want something underneath it to stop it from moving around. I noticed on on the car, this is where it was leaking from the most, so I think we'd put quite a lot in there and just go around as best we can. Don't judge me on how I've done this. I'm gonna put um, two courses, because these are temperamental to, to leak. 
my nerves are not the best I'm just gonna go around again now on the outside edge and uh, just make sure there is enough I don't want to overdo it but I want to make sure it doesn't leak Okay guys, you're probably shouting at me, it probably looks really brutal, uh, <laughs> but I've done it in between every uh, bolt hole as well, is because they'll seal up and I don't want them to leak from the, the bolts themselves. So that's got a good coverage all the way around, it should, it's got enough room there to spread out as well, so I think that should be okay. Like I said, I've never done it before, so all your uh, mechanical guys out there that know everything, I know it might look terrible to you, but as long as it works guys and it doesn't leak, does it matter? Now this is the most crucial part now because you don't want to knock every, anything. This is why you needed to move this exhaust up away. Might be just easier just to hold it there, I think. Rise up from the ashes, wings on my back, stay lit like a matchstick. We ain't coming back, I swear. Just let go and see what happens, gotta let go to see the magic happen. They got is a quick change, so we like them in face. I just bought a new watch, time to make my wrist ring. The zero gravity keeps elevating me. Rise up from the ashes, wings on my back, stay lit like a matchstick. We ain't coming back, I swear. Just let go and see what happens. Gotta let go to see the magic happen. They got is a quick. I thought you can't see it really. But that's more or less in. Just gotta really tighten up the screws now, the bolts. I'll put the other bits in and I'll tighten it up then. One, 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 that side. So tighten one up, go to the opposite side, tighten that up, go to that side. Tighten that up, tighten that up, and work way, work in, work in that way. I'm just gonna do that now, and then I'll get back to you once it's in. But that was a squeaky ass moment, guys. I tell you, that was an apps. There's no way you can get that in without lowering that exhaust. Simple. There's no way because I struggled to get that back in without touching anything. Um, I had to stop, wipe it all down again, and then try again because last thing you want to do is get any of that sealant on the bottom of the uh, I don't even know what they call the piston con rods uh, I don't even know what they are but the bottom of the engine you don't want them on that okay I'll cut back in now once this is back up and tight all right that uh, is all back in uh, see if I can just show you quick it's all back in all buttoned up where well, you can see that guys uh, so it, although the red doesn't look the best at least it's sealed so that is how if you wanted to try yourselves how you replace the sump guys i can't see any other way of doing it uh, so what we got next now is to put everything back i will film now me putting this uh manifold back putting everything back the shield for the gearbox put all that back and i'm gonna call it a day on this video then guys and get this manifold sorted it's definitely had and seen better days I've got a new one. I've just got it over that stud, but I'm not going to worry too much about it, guys. I broke a lot more. I didn't break that. I'm just glad I didn't break it. I'm going to put in a little bit of copper grease on these studs only because it helps the next person 
if they ever need to take this off, the nuts are not gonna break. Wow. In theory, this is how easy it is to forget something, guys. <laughs> Nearly forgot this. Okay, that's all back on. I put a new bolt in there, so that's all tidy. I couldn't find the other one, I think I swept it up. So, we just gotta put the heat shield back on. We're nearly there. I'm not going to leave this like this, I'll give this a clean. Same with the, uh, these bits, a little bit of copper grease. Okay, that's in a solid. I put the two bolts that come from here were totally knackered. So I put one in there and one in there. That's solid. You don't need four for any shield. That's solid enough. I'll just give this a good wipe down and it should be fine then. Okay, that's all I've got left now is to put the uh, shield in for the, the, the gearbox and put everything back in around the sump. These bolts this and that. I'm going to just slap that in now and that's done. So I'm not going to do any more uh, filming now. Tell me what you think about the um, the sump guys. Did I do okay? Would you have done it differently? Comment below. How would you have done it? Did I do a good job? Did I do a bad job? I, I would like, uh, like to hear your input on this one. This, uh, this, I've never done it before. There's no videos on how to do it really. Only their experience of doing it. Uh, there's no getting away from taking that exhaust manifold off to do it. It is a, a very, I would say, a very overcomplicated job. Something as simple as take a sump off and you've got to take quite a lot of the engine apart, I say, the front end off to get to it. So I hope you enjoy this video on how to take a sump off, or my experience on how to take a sump off a Fiat 500. Now if you like content like this, and you like cars like this. I have also featured cars like this on the channel if you're new to the channel. I also uh, do other cars. I do other things as well. If you haven't already and you have watched this video to the end, subscribe guys. I would really appreciate it. Uh, and also give the video a, a thumbs up. Now the next video on this project, as I said this is an ongoing project. Uh, we've got no oil in the gearbox. There's no oil in the engine, obviously we just drained it. I've got to change the oil filter, do all the spark plugs, but in the meantime, before I do all that, we're going to do the timing belt. So that's another big job that I've never done, and it's going to be fun and interesting to do. So while the car's like this, timing belt is next, and we've also got the water pump to do, thermostat to do, auxiliary belt to do, and then it's a case of gearbox fluid, gear, uh, engine oil, service, Tidy up that side, put it all back together, and hopefully everything I've done so far on this car should run. <laughs> so that's <laughs> that's what's going to come next on the on the channel, guys. So stay tuned for that one. These are long episodes. Obviously, I don't want to split the, the the process into half. Part one, part two for taking the gearbox out, done it all in one go. I took the sump out all in one video. The timing belt will be all in one video. And then probably the last little bits will all be back to a normal 20 to 30 minute videos. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. And I'll see you all next time when we carry on with this video 500. Take care guys.